This week, the Score Space Game Jam is on, and I have only 3 days to try and make a game with the theme Protect. Will I be able to do it? When I first thought of the word Protect, for some reason I thought of an egg which you need to prevent from getting cracked. So, I drew up a very neat diagram of what the game would look like, where rocks are flying towards the egg and you have to use a paddle to stop them from hitting it. I started by making a new Unity project and spent a while making some vector art for an egg and some land to go underneath it. I then followed a tutorial to try and get a paddle to follow a bezier curve around the egg, but I couldn't get it to move based on the arrow keys and had to opt for a system where the paddle constantly moves and you can stop it by holding a button. After this, I made some background art, which is more just circles than art, and made the clouds slowly move across the screen. I spent quite a while drawing some rock sprites, which I coded to spawn randomly and move towards the egg. Unfortunately, with the way paddle movement was currently set up, it was very hard to control and actually hit the eggs away. So, I decided to ditch the paddle completely and opt for a point and click style instead, where I created a crosshair to follow the mouse and made rocks lose health when clicked and eventually die. This already felt way more fun and was even more satisfying when I added particle effects, screen shake and post processing. I still had about 36 hours left and the game was already pretty fun, but after playing it for a while it was bound to get boring. So, to make it more interesting, I decided to make it into an upgrades game, with currency and attributes which you can pay to upgrade. I first made a money counter which increases for each rock you kill, and made a panel to display the different upgrades available. I made upgrades for damage, automatic fire rate, shields, how much rock is awarded on kill, and splash damage, all of which had prices which increased for each level. I also had to make sure I balanced everything correctly so it was not too hard or easy. Somehow, it ended up taking over a day to make this system, and I had only a few hours left to add everything else. To keep track of the player's score, I decided to go for a round system, similar to a tower defense game. This gives the player enough time to purchase their upgrades before choosing to start the next round. With about an hour left, I added sound effects using the JSFXR website and added a simple music track I made a few days ago in the background. And just like that, I had finished the game. For a game I thought was not going to be rated very high, it somehow managed to play 16th out of almost 150 games, which I was really happy with. The game will be linked in the description if you want to play it, and make sure you check out this other video where I tried to make a game in only 3 hours.